Hello everyone, I'm Vinicius Ferreira, and in today's video, I will show you how you can enter and exit the Nulls ecosystem with your dollar stablecoin, specifically how you can convert USDT to USDTN and vice versa. For those who don't know, USDTN is like a derivative of the traditional USDT, but it's created by the Nerve network and widely used within the Nulls blockchains, both in the traditional Nulls blockchain and in the Nulls. So, when you're trading coins or providing liquidity in some pairs, instead of using USDT, you end up using USDTN. The idea of this video is to show you how you can easily swap one for the other with the same quality to use as you wish. For this procedure, I'll be using the Nabox wallet because it's compatible with the applications I need and works with all the blockchain networks. Well guys, let's go. First, let me present a hypothetical scenario. Let's say I've accumulated USDTN, either from a trade within the Nulls blockchain, participating in liquidity, or perhaps winning it in an airdrop and want to convert it back to a US dollar stablecoin. Alright, I have USDTN here. How do I send this USDTN to my Binance Smart Chain wallet as USDT? Whether it's for activities on the Binance Smart Chain or simply to sell this USDT on an exchange, how do I do it? Let's go through the process. I'll select where my balance is, which is in the Nulls blockchain as you can see. I'll be demonstrating this with my own balance during this tutorial and sending it to the Binance Smart Chain network. The first step is to access Nerve.network. I'll leave the link in the description. Once you've accessed it, click on the bridge option to send your USDTN to the Binance Smart Chain network. Let's proceed. I'll select Binance Smart Chain. I'm sending it from the Nulls blockchain to the Binance Smart Chain network. What am I sending? I'm sending USDTN. It still has the letter N at the end. I want to send the maximum amount, and I'll click next, alright? Sometimes, on the first attempt, you might need to approve a contract. Alright, I'll sign this transaction. Do I need to confirm it again? No, it's all good now. I just need to wait for the confirmations on the blockchain networks. What was the purpose of this first step? It was to send my USDTN from my nulls address to my Binance Smart Chain address but it will still be in the USDTN format. I'll need to convert it to the traditional USDT. One more thing, it's only possible to send between blockchains to my own addresses within the Nabox wallet. It's not possible to send it to third-party wallets or any other of my wallets outside the Nabox app, like MetaMask, at least not at this moment. Alright guys, as you can see here, 220 USDTN on the Binance Smart Chain network in my Nabox wallet. It took a few minutes. So, if it takes a bit longer, don't worry because you need to wait for these three confirmations. Confirmation on the Nulls network, confirmation on the Nerve network, and confirmation on the Binance Smart Chain network. Meaning the final confirmation. Now for the next step, you'll need to have a bit of BNB in your Binance Smart Chain wallet within Nabox, precisely to pay for network fees. Okay, USDTN is here, and now I need to convert USDTN to traditional USDT because it's more widely accepted within the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem and even more accepted by exchanges. How do I do that? Well, within the Nabox wallet layout, you'll click on Swap, and the application will take you to the website swap.nabox.io. On the website, you need to click on those three dots and then select Liquidity. Now, just look for the USDT pool and click on Deposit and Withdraw. Here, we have two options. Exactly Deposit and Withdraw. Deposit is where you will place USDT and withdraw USDTN. But in this example I'm doing with you, I want to do the opposite. I want to put in USDTN and withdraw USDT. So, I come here to the withdraw option. Here it seems like USDTN is already configured first and USDT second. So now I click on maximum because I want to exchange all my USDTN for USDT. And down here I select which network I want to receive. In the example of this video, I am always using the Binance Smart Chain Network. So here I am going to exchange USDTN that is already on the Binance Network. As you can see here above, it's already on the Binance Network, and I will receive traditional USDT on the Binance Smart Chain Network. So everything is set up correctly, I put in the maximum, and now I'm going to click here to confirm. Sometimes you might be asked to sign a contract the first time, and then the confirm button will be released. This happens in most decentralized applications. So I confirmed the transaction here, and now I need to wait for it to be confirmed on the blockchain network. Okay guys, once again I just had to wait a few minutes, and here is my USDT. I converted the USDTN that was there on the Nulls blockchain, transferred it to the Binance Smart Chain network, 
and converted it into traditional USDT for me to do whatever I want. Well guys, as you could see, the procedure is quite simple. After you do it the first time, you get the hang of it and then it's much faster. But I know there might be some questions. In that case, you can ask them down here in the comments, and whenever possible, I'll respond to you. Additionally, you can also join the official groups in various languages about nulls on Telegram. I'll leave the links in the description to make it easier for you. Okay, all we did was withdraw USDT from the nulls ecosystem. Simply transforming it from USDTN to traditional USDT on the Binance Smart Chain Network. However, for those who want to do the opposite, people who have USDT on the Binance Smart Chain Network and want to put it into the Nulls ecosystem as USDTN, either to use it on some specific DeFi platform or simply trade within the ecosystem, come with me and I'll show you. It's actually much easier. Well guys, let's do the opposite procedure okay? Let's assume that inside your Nabox wallet on the Binance Smart Chain Network, you have a balance in USDT. Some balance that you bought somewhere or on some exchange. Also, you have a bit of BNB to pay any network fees. But you want to send this USDT into the Nulls ecosystem. Either to use some specific decentralized application, a DeFi, or simply trade within the Nulls ecosystem. How do you do that? It's much simpler than withdrawing from the Nulls ecosystem. You will click here on Swap again, here you will click on these three dots, and then click on Liquidity. Remember, all of this is using the Nabox wallet. Now, clicking down here again, we are on the same screen. But instead of using the Withdraw tab, you will use the Deposit tab, okay? You will deposit USDT and receive USDTN. But you can choose to receive directly on the Nulls blockchain, the Anulls blockchain, or even the Nerve network if you prefer. This time, you won't need to exchange first and then send OK? Now, you can do this procedure all at once. When you withdraw from the Nulls ecosystem, you need to send and then exchange. On the other hand, when you're putting it into the Nulls ecosystem, you can do it all at once because it works. I'll show you practically OK? I'll show you my wallet on the Nulls blockchain again. My wallet is zeroed out in USDTN as you can see OK? The Nulls blockchain is zeroed out in USDTN. Now, I'll go back to the Binance Smart Chain Network where I have USDT balance OK? I'll access this page here, I'll go to Deposit and Withdraw, and choose the Deposit option. I want to send 0.9 just to serve as an example for you guys OK? And down here, I'll select which network I want to send to. In this case, I'll select the Nulls network. I've already checked my address, and it's indeed my Nulls address. I want to send 0.9. So, the application will automatically convert USDT to USDTN, and will send it directly to my address on the Nulls blockchain. I'll confirm here, I'll have to confirm again here, by paying a small network fee. In this case, now I'll pay the fee in BNB OK? When I send from Nulls to BNB, I pay the fee in Nulls. But here, as I'm sending from the Binance Smart Chain Network to Nulls, I pay the fee in BNB. So, I confirmed here, and now I just need to wait for it to confirm on the blockchain. Okay guys, I waited a few minutes. I've already selected the Nulls blockchain here, and as you can see, my USDTN is already here. So, it worked. I exchanged it and sent it directly to the Nulls blockchain. As you saw, both procedures are quite simple, both to enter the ecosystem with USDT and to exit. It might be difficult the first time, but then you get used to it. Well guys, that's what I wanted to teach you. If you believe this content helped you in any way or can help someone else, I ask you to leave a like on this video because this like helps me a lot. Another thing, if you want to stay updated on the Nulls ecosystem, check down below if you've already subscribed to this channel, and if you've already activated the notification bell. With the bell activated, whenever I bring new content, you will receive the notification. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for your audience, and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, bye-bye.